I've worked out the rest of the figures there, including my creditors' figures. Um, so I just want to finish off the rest of the numbers so we can sort out uh, our loans, the ending of the document, which is a bit complicated. So we bought a machine. That's the next thing I have to do with. And we bought a machine, 1st of February, 24 grand. Um, they rent a premises, 18 grand a year. So we were and it's payable each month so we'll be paying every month we're paying 18 grand uh, divided by 12 months in the year so i'll pay that all the way across um wages 800 every month uh computer bought and this depreciation on computer and the machine, well, that's going to be uh, something we'll deal with in our uh, budget trade and profit and loss account. We, it doesn't affect us here. We're just going to spend money on a computer here, and that happens in April. Uh, just check, yeah, 1st of April. Um, rates for six months were paid in April, so I've got 2.8, and that's for rates. Um, all money borrowed together with interest so I'm going to have to have capital payment and I'm going to have to have interest okay so um, obviously at this stage it's easy enough for the computer that I can do my maths uh, so if I have 2 4 plus you know, Four plus that and I'm just going to copy that and paste it all the way along and I'm going to do something similar down here I start off with my first month only okay so there's my total outflows so my net cash is going to be 29 grand uh, take away 19850 uh, my opening balance so I had a bank overdraft of 20 grand at the beginning so it's minus 20 grand so that means my balance at the end is going to be 9150 plus 20 grand so that means uh, I'm minus uh, 10850 uh, now they want to keep a minimum balance of 14 grand so if I'm minus 10850 I'm gonna to have to borrow 15 grand to bring me above uh, the four grand that I'm looking for if I do that, I get 4150, and that 4150 becomes my opening balance for the next month. Okay, so I'm borrowing 15 grand there. Okay, so now, um, and what am I doing? My repaying, I'm repaying the end of June together with the dates. So I'm going to work through and finish off the rest of the numbers up to May. I'm going to leave June just for one second. Uh, so, um, and my copy I'm just literally copying and pasting here no that was a mistake um, oh yeah I haven't worked those numbers out that's why it's going to be zero uh, so my closing balance is going to be uh, for this one, sorry, my opening balance. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. That, that's where my mistake is. My opening balance is the 4150 from the previous month. Net cash inflow is going to be my total inflows minus my total outflows. Uh, so I add these two numbers together. So 3350, I need to have a, a minimum of uh, four grand. So therefore, I have to borrow one grand. So add those two together. 4350 and that 4350 becomes my opening balance uh, for the next month. Uh, so I'll do my net cash again. So I'm just going to copy the formula from here for those two months and uh, I'll copy the formula from there and I'll copy the formula from there. Okay, um, my borrowings. So this one, I end up with a balance of 5150, so I need to borrow zero. 
So uh, that's the figure that goes there, and that becomes the opening for the next month. Um, so this one here, I, I'm going to overspend. So I'm going to have to borrow again here this month. So I'll end up with a balance of 2450. So I need to borrow, so seven grand. Because seven grand will bring me above the four grand I'm looking for. Yeah, 4550, and that goes there. And my, my borrowings next month, I've got 18 grand. So I don't need to borrow anything. So that means that my closing balance is 18900. And I'm going to start off 18900 at the beginning of next month. So now look, I need to look at my capital repayment on my interest because that's going to happen in June. So all the money borrowed is repaid at the end of June together with interest to date uh, on the repaid amount. Okay. Um, so that could mean that we end up being minus at the end of June or we might have to borrow again. So uh, I'm going to look at my loans. Uh, so we've got a loan here of 15 grand for the first month. Uh, the next month we have one grand. And then we have a loan of seven grand. Um, and I need to work out my interest in repaying the full amount of the loan. So I'm going to add my interest uh, up to uh, the end of June. And then uh, I'll have my full repayment. So I'm going to repay the 15 grand along with the interest. So I borrowed my 15 grand at the end of the first month. So I'll be paying uh, month interest for February, March, April, May, and June. So that'd be five months. How much is the interest? The interest is 8% a year. So my interest is gonna be 15 grand times 0 0.08, that's 8% a year. And then times five twelfths. So that's five months worth of interest. The next one. So I'm just treating these three loans as separate. Uh, so the next one I'm borrowing uh, one grand times 8% times. So I'm, I got that in February, so that means I'll be paying March, April, May, June. So it'll be times four twelfths. Uh, the next one, seven grand, so that uh, I'll have to pay two months interest on that. So it'll be seven grand times uh, 0.08 uh, times uh, two over 12. So there's the total amount of interest, so the repayment in each case would be those two, the interest and the original loan added together, because I'm paying all the money borrowed, paying all of it back. So, so the total amount of money that I'm going to pay back. So it'll be that plus that plus that so 23 is going to have to be paid uh, up here now and uh, so my total loan figure the capital repayment is going to be uh, 15 plus a grand plus seven and then the interest then is going to be uh, I might round this off, so you have 500 uh, plus 26.6, so I'm going to call it 27, uh, plus 93.3, I'm going to call it 93. Uh, so my total outflows, I'll do the same form I had before. So that's my total outflows. Uh, my, sorry, let's just undo that. So my net cash uh, is going to be the same as done before. Total inflows. Take away my. Oh, no, I put it in the wrong place. There's my total outflows. My net cash then is going to be uh, forty-eight minus. 58 so my balance then is going to be minus 10 and plus 18.9 carried over from the previous month uh, and we're not going to have to let's just quickly check 48 yeah so we're not going to have to borrow any more for this month 